Field in Chicago. Today we've got what's always a hard-hitting battle in the NFC North as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Chicago Bears. Set for football now on a sunny afternoon in the second city. And off we go from Soldier Field. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. In motion goes the tight end. Now Fields going to throw on the first play. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Kamut. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. To throw his Fields. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. That's good for us Chicago Bears. Now Fields going to keep it running left. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find a way to take him what they can all the way to the end zone. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. That's a very nice game there. A confidence building run. Love the execution up front and the way he pressed the hole. Absolutely perfect. Well, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. Jack Campbell with a pick. And the Lions are going to have it here at their own 32 yard line. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's the former Bear. This is David Montgomery. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. From the red zone now, Goff. There's one part of that. He's got it. Touchdown, Lions. From 13 yards out. And the Lions use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody, but those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. Just drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have you either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Lions lead 7-0. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here we go. 
At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears' offense. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Meanwhile, field throw there, complete to Mooney. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Moore, the man in motion. The first down carry here for Johnson. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Fields on first down. That's complete right side to commit. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Now it's Fields. This is caught. Touchdown, Bears! D.J. Moore, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Seven now as they kick it away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. And the last time out, look and repeat that, Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Now a give running right is Montgomery. He'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. That is caught. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 31-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And, partner, they're locked in man coverage out left, and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field. And that's very difficult for defender to shadow him across all that ground. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Goff going to get this to Gibbs, and he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They'll give him four yards there, and they're going to face a third down. Well, he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. 
from the gun. Here's Goff. He's got his target. That's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run with Montgomery, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him two yards on that one, second and goal now. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Goff now to throw. And he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Josh Reynolds from six yards away. And the Lions have taken the lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here we go. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to Lockwood just a little more animated. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the cornerback's hand, and it's incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Third and long, it's Fields. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not go. allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Fields now to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here for a Easy, easy, easy. Hey, five, two, one, five, two. On first and ten, here's Fields. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Jack Campbell with a pick, and the Lions will take over possession here up at the 44. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Now Fields. Eluding the pressure right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. 
A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with you and I both know the special teams coordinators. They sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach. We can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. A shotgun snap for gone. That's complete to the porter. And he's going to be taken down right there at the 20-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. On second down, here's Goff. And it's intercepted. When you got six defensive backs on the field, you just know you're going to get multiple coverages. You're never sure what you're going to see. But the biggest one is you don't have much reaction time for your receivers to go get the football because those guys are the best cover guys on the field. They go get it. And on that play, they took it the other way for six points. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he returns this to the 22. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Off play action. Here's golf. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. He's on his way, and he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spent in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it, not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? right, right? right. There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. Now a throw complete to his fullback out of the backfield. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Highly contested in the third quarter. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. On first down, Fields. They'll check this down to Jackson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On second down, Johnson. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A five-yard gain on the play. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. First and goal at the two-yard line. Johnson is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Is they tackle him at the three? Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Escaping the pressure right. Completing it to the right side. Johnson. 
And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Now here's Fields on the sneak, and he is over the line for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? Justin Fields scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Bears have scored again in this third quarter, this time to move out in front. Santos with the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Khalif Raymond. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Lions. It's been a back-and-forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Well, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the score that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. Now, meanwhile, a final play here is incomplete, and that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. A shotgun snap, Fields. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To the air again, Fields. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On second down, here's Fields. He finds his man, Johnson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. That's good for us, Chicago Bears. First and 10 at the 48. Here's Fields. And a big loss here as he's taken down. There's Charles Harris getting home for the sack. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Fields. Well, that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 39. He'll go right back to St. Brown. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. 
like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now first and goal. Field's going to keep it running right. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields doing it himself from nine yards out. And the Bears have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. They get one more as the extra points up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. Touchdown. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. They'll come up first and 10 here. Now it's gone. St. Brown on the catch. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. They couldn't ask for much more at this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. The drive will start with an option going left. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think his big boys up front, that offensive line, they've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Here's Fields. Now we're behind his man, incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. First and ten. Now golf. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. It's caught inside the 25. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. Yes, it was a touchdown. And not just a TD, but how about a long touchdown that puts them in a great position now. And now just an extra point away from tying this thing. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Jeff Fox to kick off 
This one all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as the kick's away here. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. This is first and 10. Now Fields. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Under 50 seconds to play. Here's second and 10. All eyes on Fields. Open man right side of St. Brown. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. As I stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Back to throw. Fields. Flush to his right. And he wisely will throw that one away. I see you nodding your head up and down. It's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage, and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away, live to fight another down. Dancing to his left. We'll find more on the comeback run. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and 10. Oh, look at this. It's intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And the Lions are going to have it here at their own 15. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally. And that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. Not a throw. He's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. He'll change that down. So it's the Bears who will have the first chance to win this thing as we are underway here in overtime. Fair catch called for and taken, so the ball brought up to the 25 to begin this overtime session. Here we go. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something that was built on for this offense as they run back out here. And you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense. Gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And now third and very long. Are you cautious here? I think you have to be because the first mantra of any football game is don't lose it. Then you give yourself a chance to win it. And if you go ahead and force something now, take a big shot that doesn't pay off, you didn't help your defense out at all. Yeah, especially here in overtime. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. On first down, it's Fields.
Open man downfield is Johnson. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. A huge play there in overtime. 57 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Running from the gun, Johnson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And they're going to speed things up here. Here's Fields now on second down. Flushed out right. And oh, that would get a right up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. Third down coming up. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Hey, Ken, 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 Ken. Up, 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 up. Throwing on third down, Fields. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to at least get him a lead here in overtime. Santos' kick is up and through, and they have regained the lead. That was a big risk here in overtime. It sent him out to fire away from long distance, but he knocks it through to give him the lead. Edgy, edgy, don't you think? Because if he misses there, ball goes to the spot of the kick, correct? Yep. And guess what? That only gives about, what, 20 yards or so for, for them to go downfield and be positioned themselves. So you have confidence in it, and you have confidence in your defense to so go ahead and let him kick that one. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Well, it's pretty simple now. They need a field goal out of this drive to extend overtime, or obviously, Charles, a touchdown to win it. Yeah, and I'm taking the defense's perspective on this one, Gardner, because now they know with a three-point lead, they can afford to give that up because you just keep playing, right? The overtime gets extended. But if you give up the touchdown, it's game over. So on offense, every play you make, you've got to try and get just a little bit more out of each one in order to try and get to the end zone because they're going to play everyone back, keep everything in front. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. They'll fake the give. Now gone. He's got his target. That's complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Play action. It's gone. And got his man complete. Touchdown. Detroit! A great game, partner. A spectacular finish. They needed at least a field goal to keep the game alive. They do one better. They get it in the end zone and end it. And I don't know about you, but I'm worn out. That type of a game takes it all out of us as well, not just the guys on the field. What a tremendous finish. And as you noted, were they going to go and try and get three and keep the game going? 